five reasons you really want to have a lawyer when you're going through probate. Hey, this is David Klein Levitt, broker owner, Next Home, First Choice Realty. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell because we give you informative videos that can help you save time and money and make real estate easier for you. And so let's get started. Five reasons you really want to have a lawyer in probate. The five reasons are service, communication, legal expertise, problems with the estate, and they can help you with a will. That's service, communication, legal expertise, help you with problems with uh, probate and the estate, and helping you with the will. Uh, number one, service. They can be a coach. They can coach you through the probate process. That's invaluable. Just to give you an idea, I've got this book on probate. It's 452 pages, and look at the size of this book. It's huge. It's probably like an eight, nine hundred dollar, nine hundred page um, manual. So you could learn all that. Why not have somebody else coach you through it? It's a complicated process. Number uh, secondly, and under service, they can serve as a buffer between you if you're the personal representative, the executor, or administrator, handling the probate. And everybody who is a beneficiary, everybody who has a claim or thinks they have a claim against the property, they, they can save, or the estate, they can save you all kinds of headaches that can really give you peace of mind. So you don't have to deal with that. If there's a legal person, a person of respect, a person that knows what they're doing, your family members and relatives, the other beneficiaries are probably going to listen to that a lot more than they would listen to you. So they can serve as a buffer. Okay. So they can save you time and money. All right. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. They can check and go through all the paperwork. They can file the paperwork for you. I mean, how do you know where to go? Which, which one's the probate clerk? Is that probate clerk a jerk? Hopefully not, but they probably are dealing with people that don't know what they're doing every day, every hour, every week, every month, every year. No wonder they're, you know, short with people. You know, it's a tough job. They can keep uh, careful records of everything. And they, again, they can file everything and give you peace of mind. So number one reason you want to have a probate lawyer is they give you service. Number two is communication. They can let you know what's going on and they can let you know what's not going on. If you choose me to help you through this process, I'm going to make sure that the probate lawyer informs you, say every Friday or every Monday, give you an email of what happened or what didn't happen. I would appreciate getting an email, hey, nothing happened this week. Okay, good, I can kind of rest, okay. It's, but it's still moving, there's somebody that checked into it. So they're going to communicate with you, they can answer questions for you. And they can also give you legal expertise, communicate that to you, okay? So number two, communication. Number three is legal expertise. Now this is where they can really save you time, what we talked about earlier. If you get a good probate attorney, they can have, the judge is gonna grant you authority, full authority, or limited authority. What's the difference? Well, on limited authority, the judge, the court, the state is a little bit more uh, looking through a magnifying glass to make sure that the estate is done fairly, done correctly. So how's the judge going to determine that? Now, I'm not a lawyer. That's what I'm doing here is telling you to get a lawyer. But I believe the judge is going to look at, look at the initial paperwork and they're going to say, oh, I think this people don't know what they're doing. Let's give it limited authority. So we, me, and the state, the court is going to look a little bit closer to be fair to the estate, the beneficiaries. We want to make sure everybody gets what they're entitled to get and nothing more, but nothing less. So if you have a, a good lawyer that files things right, you can be get full authority and it's going to save a lot of paperwork, a lot of trouble, probably four to six months, you're going to have to settle sooner. So instead of being a year to a year and a half, it's going to be more like two years. Yeah. Yeah. So it can make a huge difference in time. Okay. So that's 
really important uh, for you for uh, legal expertise. They're going to explain how the law applies to you and whatever particular situations you're going through. There's all kinds of different situations. I'm going to talk about that with problems in the next uh, section. Uh, but, it, but they'll explain how it applies to you and they'll represent you in court. So they're going to give you legal expertise. That's number three. Number four, they're going to help you with problems with the estate. A lot of problems can come up with an estate because everything's always different. What if the estate is insolvent? They don't have enough money to cover expenses even. How do you handle that? Okay, what, what if um, it's complicated? And a lot of times, complicated. Our family's complicated. Those are who the beneficiaries are. Sometimes there's half brothers, half sisters, stepsisters, stepbrothers. There's domestic partners, there's divorces, there's annulments. All these are different situations. Does that mean somebody's not entitled to anything anymore? Does it not mean it goes to their heirs now? What if they died? What if they're in a coma? They're not dead yet? What if they died uh, during the probate? What if they're... Uh, uh, so many situations. So they're going to help you with the problems, okay? What if a bunch of money went to a minor? A bunch of the assets to the estate. How do you handle that? Well, you have a lawyer can help you with that. Um, they, what if there's a claim against the estate? Now, bear with me here. A beneficiary, somebody that's entitled to part of the estate, all right? Well, they're gonna come out of the woodwork because a probate becomes public notice. There's people that are gonna check up and say, hey, you didn't tell me about this. I, I think, you know, even though I'm a third cousin twice removed, I'm entitled to something. It could also be people that aren't entitled at all, have nothing to do with your family, but saw that it was recorded, something it was public record, claiming to be a beneficiary. A um, good lawyer can help you with a contested estate, a contested probate. That's number four. They can help you with problems with the estate. And number five, they can assist you with the will. They can help you write it. Uh, wills can be ambiguous. Could say something like, okay, I want to give $10,000 to uh, your nephews, Judy and John. Is that $10,000 for both of them? 5,000 each or is that 10,000 for Judy and 10,000 for John? So they can help you write a will that you know, makes sense. I want to give to the poor kids. Well, what constitutes poor kids? So they're going to help you write it so it's clear that who gets what. Um, there's another video on how to write a will and why it's important. So you can watch that video right here. And they can also lastly serve as a witness to a will. A valid will needs to have witnesses, people that saw it. But a ca caveat to that, caveat, is that they can't be a beneficiary. Well, maybe everybody that you know well enough to say, hey, could you witness my will? Or people you'd make a beneficiary to your will. You need two. So knowing that a lawyer can do that, that's helpful. But, and writing it clearly, it's huge. So these are the five reasons you wanna have a lawyer in probate real estate. I, you, we stayed to the end. Watch this video. These are the five steps to make probate easier. Video right here. <coughs> we'll see you next week. This is David Flying Levitt, broker owner of Next Home First Choice Realty. Give me a call, give me a text, give me an email. I'll help you out to make real estate easier for you.